Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome to 2023. I just wanted to pull over. I'm on my way home from work. Uh, I spent about half a day there. I'm on my way home, so it's still bright. It's been a long time since I've been on my way home in the uh, daylight. <laughs> uh, daylight savings time makes things dark super early here, which is super annoying. But I wanted to update you guys on some tire situations. So if you'll remember, this here Nissan Titan, uh, when I bought it in Arizona and drove up here, it had the General Grabber APTs on it. They were fantastic on the highway, okay on dirt roads, sucked in the mud, sucked in the snow, sucked in the ice. So I decided to get something different, and I found some Goodyear Wrangler Duratracs that were listed on Facebook Marketplace, and they were only asking for 100 bucks for the set. Had lots of life on them, so I bought those threw those on, sold the General Grabber APTs, and the Goodyear Wrangler Duratracs were amazing on the snow, amazing in the mud, okay on the freeway and whatnot. They were loud. Um, they were super loud. Sorry I'm squinting. Sun's uh, in my face and I haven't seen the sun in a minute. So they were good. Um, I loved them. But on the ice, they slid everywhere. I couldn't stop at stop signs. I couldn't turn. I couldn't back into my driveway. I'd put this thing, this thing has a locker in the back. A locker it's uh so both tires spin at the same time and i would have to put this thing in four wheel drive in order to back up my driveway if it was icy and uh i'm not even really sloped it was a little bit bad so i decided to go and look for some more tires and i found another set listed they're not a snow tire but they are three peak certified also i got these used as well so they are goodyear whoop wrangler adventure all-terrain mns mud and snow um and they do have where is it there's a three peak thing on here somewhere there it is so there is a three peak certification right there and so i figured i would pull over on my way home and do a quick review on these i've only had them on for a couple of weeks but i've picked up on some things so overall nothing bad to say about these yet um these i'm running at 35 psi or 33 something like that whatever the door says um they are a slightly larger size than stock these are the 275 65 18s not that that really matters at that size but i figured i'd get you guys an update uh so i put these on i've taken them in the mud to be fair the mud was not slimy so much because it's been kind of cold up here but we've been in the 40s all week and the mud kind of it kind of got soft i had no problems in the mud i mean these are not a mud tire it says mud and snow but they're not a mud tire um but they did fantastic i have no complaints on the mud um we've been on the freeway they're nice and quiet they're louder than a highway tire for sure but they're not horrible um, in fact, they're fine for an all-terrain. I got no no complaints on the noise level. Let's talk about let's talk about snow. Seems how we are kind of you know in the snow. In the snow, the Goodyear Wrangler Duratracs were better than these, um, but I don't have complaints. I've gotten everywhere I needed to go. Um, and in fact, right here, I actually did just drop it into four-wheel drive to do this little tiny three-point turn. Uh, you can see I pulled up there, pulled out, pulled over there, and whatnot. And it was a uh, it was a slight process, um, but we're frozen, but we're about eight inches deep probably. Um, and so, you know, kind of got into a little situation. Uh, no big deal. She pulled out in four wheel drive. Um, two wheel just wasn't quite making it. I do have, I do have what, six 60 pound bags. So that's what, 180, 300 and 260? What? 60? <laughs> 60? 120, 243, yeah, so 360 pounds in the back. Um, it's not over the axle per se, it's on the front spring perch, but it's back there. Um, and I couldn't quite back up uh, out of those ruts uh, without a little help from the front. So, anywho, overall, I have not driven through. So, the Goodyear Wrangler Dura tracks, if you remember, I drove through three feet of snow, unplowed snow on the road because I beat the plows and it was a blizzard. And I didn't realize that uh, here in South Dakota, you're not supposed to be out in blizzards. Um, so, there was no plows. I just kind of took off and three feet of snow, uh, I was pushing it over the hood. I couldn't even see out my windshield for a little bit there overheated that situation that was with the dirt tracks dirt tracks absolutely amazing on the snow ice they sucked so let's talk about ice with these goodyear wrangler adventure mud and snows so out of the three tires i've tried on this titan these are by far the best on the ice 
Um, I can back into my driveway without four wheel drive, so that's good. Um, I can turn, I can stop. Um, we still do a bit of sliding if we're going downhill and trying to stop, but it's not as bad as the Wranglers or the APTs. Um, yeah, I don't have any problems. Uh, they are still slick. I don't really have a whole lot to compare it to. Um, I got the Blizzaks on the Jeep and the Blizzak DMV2s. There's like zero sliding unless I try. Um, so in comparison to those, uh, we slide way more with the truck, but it's also a truck, you know, empty bed and uh, not Blizzaks, which are super sticky. Uh, we also have, I'm trying to keep myself out of the, there we go. So we also, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I have on the brown Jeep, I have the Hankook Dyna Pros, AP somethings or AT somethings. I'm not really sure. How's it going? Good. You get anything? So on the Jeep, we've got the Hankook Dyna Pros. Those are pretty dang good. They do have the three peak certification. And right now it's hard to compare a Jeep versus the Titan uh, simply because weight and wheelbase and all that stuff. Um, but the Hankook Dyna Pros, I think do better than these um, or pretty equivalent. Um, I wouldn't mind trying the Dyna Pros on this just to see if it's a little different. I think it is. Uh, but like I said, the Jeep has a whole different drivetrain, different setup. Um, that has four wheel drive all the time. So like this, it's the rear wheels are locked, but the front ain't helping unless I lock it in four. So the Jeep has one front and one rear uh, with power at all times. So it's hard to compare tires when it's not apples to apples, but I don't slide quite as much in the Jeep nor as far. Again, weight issues and stuff like that play take a play. Uh, but overall, I'm not complaining about these tires. I like these tires so far. I um, bought them used for like 300 bucks, so it's not bad. Uh, they got a lot of life. Did I show you life? So as far as life goes, these things have plenty on there. Um, for, so for 300 bucks, it's a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but I'm not complaining. And I, I think we actually negotiated down to 275, so I'm definitely not complaining. I think we were good. And uh, yeah, life is, life is good. Um, looks. Let's talk about looks for a second. The Wrangler Duratrax looked way nicer on this truck. Um, especially the previous owner took these rims off of, a, off of a newer truck. I think it was a 2020 or something like that. And uh, we swapped rims before we, I bought this truck from him. And the Wrangler Duratrax had a lot of beef up here and it just looked really cool. Um, this one, we don't have the looks, but neither did the General Grab or APTs. So, that's kind of a wash, but looks wise, I gotta say the Wrangler Duratrax definitely had better looks. <laughs> anyway, all that in, all that said, I'm liking these tires. We're probably gonna keep them on. Um, they'll be decent in the summer, I think. I don't see any problems with them in the summer. I'm trying to get everything in the shot here. And uh, yeah, overall I'm happy, no complaints. So. I've, gotten a, I've done a couple tire reviews on this truck and a couple of the other vehicles. If you want to see those, make sure you uh, check out the other videos I've got. I think we're around 200 or some. Um, got tons of playlists on this truck, tons of other trucks, tons of cars, vans, minivans, SUVs, all of that. Uh, stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Even if you got nothing to say, just leave a comment. It helps the algorithm, guys. So participate. Thank you. We'll see you guys later. Adios.